Hello everyone, this is Valakar, welcome back to Seopolis 2, episode 14. I've done a little bit of stuff in between episodes. I was not able to play as much as I'd wanted to. And I uh, have to get at least like two or three recordings done today. Plus I need to do a bunch of the Beat Saber map to maps as well, because... Today is Wednesday the 19th, and this episode should come out tomorrow on the 20th, and as of right now, my queued up stuff is completely finished, so I need to make a bunch of recordings. So, let's say right now, thank you for new subscribers, hello, welcome. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to try to make these episodes a little bit shorter. Because I know these episodes have been going long. I have a hard, bad habit of not ending off when I need to. So, let's get into it. I've actually built up a farm area out here. And have... There we go. Planting. I went ahead and made the essence seeds. Or infernium seeds. And a lot of this ground I've put in front of me, um, infernium on it. Pretty much I just take the dirt. Use the hoe on the dirt to make the dirt farmland. Then I just put a piece of infernium on it. And Infernium, I've been using it to make more seeds and trying to get a system set up. That's 26 more seeds. I could plant them normally if I wanted to. Or I just run, drop down here. And throw them in the plant sower. I made the plant sower, made an add on for speed tier 2, and a range tier 12. Not realizing how big the range tier 12 is going to be. Then I built this area down here so I could actually store it. I have this set up so it's only taken out in essence. And the area up here I have the plant gatherer so it'll gather the plants when they're fully grown and they'll gather seeds and infernium infernium goes into the system seeds go back into the plant sower it also makes sludge which comes over here into a sludge refiner which is completely empty into a chest and that goes into the system to add some stuff into the system Problem is, I've went through and made a bunch of more essence, or not essence, but there we go. Yeah, this area is so freaking large, because I put in the add-on range 12, and this is my farm area that it made. It made a freaking... I guess it's 12 by 12 area for farming. It's almost four full chunks of area. And I haven't even put dirt over half of it yet. Or built in the bottom. I figured the bottom area I'm going to use and going to start putting bonsai hoppers in. Put some of the hopping bonsai plants in to so it looks like the grower. Yeah, grower got ahead of the sower. Just fine. But now I can just come through and get this stuff growing. <laughs>
Cause I'm hoping I put down the infernium. Say dirt down. Hoping to for the additional bit, because it gives the infernium farmman gives a twenty percent chance for secondary output, which should be seeds. And then the infernium outputs hundred percent, so it has twenty percent chance to give additional seeds. So I'm hoping I can use that and produce a bunch. Um, I did go through the quest line in the Mystical Essences and got all the way up to the Master Infusion Crystal. I went ahead and claimed all those. I didn't get into actual doing an Infusion Altar. That's one of the things I want to do downstairs. <clears throat> uh, other, I guess we can go into the Soul Sand part. We're going to be taking Soul... The soul dust with sand to make soul sand. Mm, I get soul sand there, and the sludge refiner will actually produce soul sand as well. So I actually have 10 soul sand in my system. That's from the sludge boiler. This should be planting now. Yep, there we go. So hopefully I got more seeds. Yeah, it looks like the harvester is running faster and a planter so i'm down to what one two three four five six seven a little over well six and a half rows of stuff <clears throat> but let's get in here soul because the soul dust is also going to be used with Cobblestone to make cobbled soul stone. That's a quest item. I did not put that back in there. Um, I have started getting fertilized essence dropping from my I had an hell. Why? This is annoying. Oh, that lapis is full, of course. Gosh. What is he doing over here? That's weird. He's supposed to be over there. Something moved him over there. That's I don't not know what the hell happened. Him. <clears throat> but I did go off and make the tier six insanium farmland and put in the the pot in this pot, and I have a few outside as well. Um. Okay, cobbled, roll sand, solarium dust, it's glowstone dust, soul dust. Oh my gosh, are you at 2000? Okay, they should make seeds, the soul seeds to grow 
different creatures, so I have to make soul jars. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I gotta make the dagger. Golden sword. These. Harvester. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> two golden. The two of those? Oh god. Just one. Okay, I gotta make. I do need to make two of them though. I have enough prosperity. Um, a few of the other things that I did do in between the episodes, I decided the yeah, I decided the furnace that I was running was not good enough. The emerald one, I went off and went through the infernium branch. Because the Supremium actually does a lot better. Uh, let me find this pull up real quick. Because they take the prior one to make anyway. But, uh, like this one had cooking speed of 690% and fuel efficiency of 345%. Supremium is cooking speed of 4,000 fuel efficiency of 800. That means f fuel lasts eight times as long. So one mini charcoal, even running the system like this here, I, it can smell two things. If I took a whole stack of things and put in there, it can smelt a whole stack with just eight. That's the fuel's eight times as efficient. Um, you use click soul jar, souls of mobs in a soul jar. Well, extractor, fill soul jars from mob drops. Gives me a Now this machine frame. Okay, I can build this real quick. I'm trying to focus on exactly what we need to build the stuff. What did I made. Oh, I didn't make two of those. That. Really. Dagger. And now I should be able to make this guy. And there's a soul extractor. Okay, so this gives me a soul jar. It's empty, which will, I'll need those to make soul seeds. I'll have to figure out a place to put these. Um, soul glass, which should be just around regular glass. Okay. Now it does want me to.
Yeah, I started up more of my machines here, trying to just... Oh, really? Oh, route? What are you missing? Trying to get these systems to run as best as I can. And I've been getting... Oops, I want to throw that in there. Lagged up on stuff. As, as you can see, my systems are completely full. I really need to... Next episode, I will go into refined storage. Because I think... Uh, blue encapsulator. Use that. Make silicon. That's going to be molten silicon. Just running sand through magma crucible. But yeah, we'll get into this next episode, I think. Because then I can stop storing everything in these chests. I mean, it's good, but it's... I'm running out of room. And well, let's see. Nether matter, I need to run the soul span through and make this stuff. I need a sieve. I have and a mesh. I do have a netherite mesh put aside. And normally you would automate this, but I use that for. Awakened pedestal. Witherproof block, that'd be nice. Awakening altar needs find obsidian and glowstone ingots. That's glowstone ingots. Those are made in an osmium compressor, which I need lead for osmium, which to make the steel. This steel, right? Steel blend needs coal coke, I think. Or steel casing I can't make because I need steel for steel casing. And the endurium takes lead, which I can't make until I get to the end of this material, so that's fine. I'm going to just run the soul sand through this way. Should hopefully give me everything we need for the quest. I think I'm just going to run the whole stack through because I have a phone. I will need that. Actually, I'll hold off on you know, all of it, because I'm pretty sure what mushroom, a corrupted catalyst, the soul stand around that, and the corrupted catalyst will take water to make witch water. On the blaze. A blazing lava doll, which will make on a blaze. Oh. So, on a bee. On Enderman, I've had Enderman go up. Stalker on the blaze. Add to barrel of lava to spawn the blaze. Okay. And that wants me to get a blaze rod killing the blaze. Be nice. Make a blaze. 
frog. I need to play essence. Play seeds. Play seeds. Tier four infusion. Uh, takes plays souls. Uh. Spell extractor. Blaze rod. Oh dear God! Is that how much? That's awful. So I'm gonna try to go this route real quick. Hi. Right. Here's our prosperity. Put those prosperity shorts to there. So this has been a fortunately this has been about two twenty minutes. I'm gonna try to end the episode off here in a little bit. But I will do what I can about making this thing real quick. I'm throw that in a bucket. Barrel of lava. Barrel. Stone. Stone. Stone barrel. Bucket. an area where I can fight this thing without worrying about it. Thought process is barrel goes here, boom, this goes here. This might be too big, actually. It is too big. Try this one. See how this one looks. Uh, I guess it'll work. I'm afraid that I'm going to spawn this in, and it's going to I just realized I have no armor. Grab my armor real quick, and then we'll do this. Okay, it's been 24 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and grab the warden armor real quick, just because. There we go. Now, go back in here. Oh. My curiosity. How's this, this looking? The system's like empty. Okay, maybe not quite. That's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, it's starting to put stuff in there. 
Okay, so the plan is come up here, use the blazing doll, on the blaze. Kill the blaze. I just requested it. I I want that soul jar. I want to have that soul jar in my inventory when I kill it. Yes. Hopefully, it'll let me fill that. Anything. Nothing. It, it it dropped nothing. But it did give me one blaze. Okay. Well, that didn't work as planned. I need more lava. This is not working. I was hoping this would work out fine and everything would work as planned, but it's not working as planned. Well, let's try to kill him without using the dagger. Nothing. Why is it not dropping anything? Not dropping anything, it's not irritating. I gotta figure out what's going on here. There. Okay, got the blaze rod <laughs> completed. Gives me a second blaze rod. That's that corrupted. So now it makes, once we make the witch water and wither skeleton skulls and then fight and kill a wither for a nether star. Um, that will be for some other time. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I was hoping that I could Something to get more blaze powder, but that's terrible. One blaze rod gives half of a blaze, and I had to kill three blaze rod blazes to get one blaze rod. Be better off killing them with the dagger. Okay, but. That'll be it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.